Hey, welcome back to the show and the future, right? The future is here. The future is now. The future is meh. Today, let's take a look at Legion of Superheroes number one by Brian Michael Bendis and Ryan Sook. Hey, welcome back to the future and uh, today, Legion of Superheroes number one, the adventures of the 31st century begin here. Uh, you may have seen my previous reviews of a, a couple of books that were called Legion of Superheroes Millennium, which featured a grand total of one panel featuring this all new Legion of Superheroes at the very end. It had nothing to do with it, with um, uh, the Legion whatsoever. It was all about Rose and Thorn and traveling to the future eventually meeting up with the legion right but then that led into this all new number one legion so of course that must tie together and rose and thorn must play a big part in this all new legion series no she doesn't okay so bendis uh you've used up a lot if not all of your goodwill i'm sorry you know you're writing a lot of books right now and almost none of them are good I enjoy action comics and I almost enjoy Superman just because of the way those two books tie together. None, Event Leviathan, unless number six is just a knockout surprise and amazing ending, uh, has just been nothing. Nobody cares about it. Nobody watches the videos. Nobody seems to be buying the comic or talking about the comic at all. Now you've shifted your attention into Legion as if you're not writing enough with that, Naomi, Young Justice, all these other books that you're helming, you're stretched too thin and uh, well, you know what, you can take my word for it or we can look at it for real in the old million dollar comics can. <laughs> Guys, it, it does me no pleasure. Um to diss this book, right? I uh, I had high hopes for it. And to tell you the truth, it looks beautiful. The team, Ryan Sook with some inks, some inks by Wade Von Grabadger and terrific looking colors by Jordi Belair. Um, you know, make it at least fun to look at. These guys are pretty good at telling a story, although there's even some storytelling elements in here I'm not too fond of but i'm going to chalk that up to the writing first of all you know hey what's the problem with the legion of superheroes right there's a million of them they all come from different planets they all have different powers it's a it's a hodgepodge of all kinds of superheroes which is fun but man it's really confusing and who is who and they all got weird names and mon l and kenzel tem and bouncing boy and whoever that uh, you know, we, we it would be great if they were kind of grounded in some personalities, right? And we got to know them. Well, as we're going to find out, we don't really do that. What we get to see is we start off uh, in the middle of some action in the Bloodhaven sewer system. Apparently on a like a Gotham planet or Gotham type world, Gotham planet. Um, and, and, and we've got this guy. Ultra Boy? Ultra Man? How would we know? There is no name. He's got a, a symbol that if you're a Legion fan, sure, you will know who this is and what's going on. But if you are not, and most people are not, and you're aiming to get this out to new people, you got to introduce them. Anyway, I can't harp on this too long. I'm just going to keep going. Anyway, these are our guys. Uh, and, and we get things happening here like, the, the big bad has got the MacGuffin and suddenly is attacked, but attacked by who? Like something happened and oh, and then we find out, oh, we've got the Karate Kid and this guy Wildfire. I am Wildfire of the Legion of Superheroes, right? And Karate Kid. Finally, at least a couple of introductions. Still don't know who this is. Don't know who the other guy is. Um, don't know what they can do, really. Uh, we're just sort of thrown right in. That's Bendis for you, right? It's the middle. It's just sort of messy action. And we're quick to discover what the... Find out what the MacGuffin is. They keep it away from the bad guy. Oh, it's Aquaman's trident, right? Because 
man, I'll, do I remember all those adventures of with Aquaman using that trident for special things. I don't. Maybe that's been in late recent continuity of Aquaman or something, or or at one point, but I don't remember the trident being a huge deal. I remember when he had a hook for a hand and a mullet, but I don't really remember the trident being a huge thing. I didn't see the Aquaman movie, so maybe it's a humongous, like, Aquaman thing, but I don't know that. What does this thing do? I don't know. We're not told. Next, we get introduced to Saturn Girl, and she's sort of like, I don't know, the concierge or something of the Legion? She's got some kind of powers, right? Mental powers. She's talking in, inside of mind. And she's got a kind of neat looking Saturn-like costume. Um, but she's just really interested in getting Superman introduced to the Legion, right? And man, what a group it is. And I'm sure we're going to dive right in and there's going to be hands being shaken and we're going to learn a few things, right? Right? No. We're going to get some awkward dialogue. We're going to get introduced to this idea that they've got these digital name tags that sort of like float behind them, which could pay off like like to help us keep track of things in the book, but it is not used in this book. It's used on this page and never again in the book when it would be really great to know who's this. It sure looks like a uh, triplicate lady later known as duo dams or whatever but i'm not even a huge Le legion fan but i know enough to know that but most people do not so you got an intro um so here we go rose right from from rose and thorn is she is here and she's introduced to jonathan kent who is what superman's son come to the future now invited by the legion just like on a whim to join cuz and he realizes that there's they're in a there's a glass ceiling in the city they're in and they're in Metropolis. So he's like, oh, are we in a bottled city like Candor? That would stink. I don't like bottled cities. Somehow he has a bottled city phobia or whatever. Okay, it's understandable. But they know about Candor. They're like, no, it's it's not it's not quite that. You don't quite understand. We don't. We don't. And and then we get the big reveal here of what the earth is and it's really like now it's been totally hollowed out it's just this core of energy with these like floating cities which if you think about it kind of reminds me of those jetson cities those J jetson apartment buildings which is one of the reasons why i use that in my uh uh intro and, and thumbnail image you know because like in my mind it's tangent here in the jetsons universe and the flintstones took place in the same universe. Most people know that because they've time traveled and visited each other. But in my opinion, they actually are happening simultaneously with the Jetsons living in this future world above and the Flintstones in a miserable, dirty existence below. Tangent over. Anyway, Legion of Superheroes, you know, it's super future, but everything's not great. We've polluted Mother Earth and squandered our resources and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I think that's a pretty cool theme to be talking about the future about conserving our resources and what might become of the earth so interesting theme that could happen really cool futuristic futury designs and each one of these cities is like different there's like a gotham and a metropolis and i'm sure other things this is created by like the core of galactic engineers or something and we get to see some of these new kind of uh kooky designs more modern and finally we learned this is ultra boy who and i'm showing my legion ignorance here is he the guy he's got like all of superman's powers but one at a time is that mon -El? i don't i don't i'm sorry i'm sorry folks but that's my point here i wanted to get into the legion i want to get into these characters i want to know wildfire has always been a really cool looking character right and wildebeest kind of neat wolverine looking so there's going to have to be some really cool stuff, but we're not getting it. I'm not getting sucked in. I got suckered into buying the Legion Millennium, and now I'm buying this, and still almost nothing has happened, and we end on yet another like crowd shot. And I know Bendis loves these. We'll make this the thumbnail. How about me? like, Or just going, no, because I got nothing. Where's my name tags here? I don't know who any of these people are. I see some like Dr. Fady looking guys and I see some guys that look kind of bouncing boy and whatever, but I don't know. I'm still, I'm an issue in. I've spent 10 bucks on the Millennium 
story. And then I bought this. I'm um, so far I'm in it now for whatever 14 bucks and I'm not too happy. Okay, guys, this is it. So, uh, Legion of Superheroes, Millennium. Okay, I read and reviewed this number one because it's a number one. I owe it out there to the people. Am I going to read the number two? Maybe. Am I going to review it? I'm not committing to it. If it's good, better than this, and brings me in, I will review it. If not, you might never hear about Legion of Superheroes on this channel again. And judging by the views and demographics, uh, it looks like most of you don't care anyway. But speaking of demographics and speaking of things you care about, uh, it's clear that uh, some of you really do care about this channel because you're watching and you're commenting below. Let me tell you, I love the likes. I love subscriptions. We're on the road to 1,000 subscriptions. We're at almost 450 now. Thank you for amazing growth to the YouTube algorithm gods and all of you for watching and liking and engaging, right? That's the part that I care the most about. I want to hear your comments. What do you think about Legion of Superheroes? What do you think about Bendis' tenure at DC so far? What has he done? What does he need to do better? Uh, what's it going to take uh, to bring him up to speed? Has this been one of those, almost like a Jack Kirby transition from Marvel to DC, where he had all this juice and momentum from Marvel and came over to DC and it sort of nothing really clicked? Although, you know, the New Gods and the Fourth World stuff, of course, eventually stuck in people's mind, but it just didn't work at first. Could it be that... 40 years from now, we'll be talking about Legion of Superheroes, the Bendis run? I hope so, but I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, hopefully you'll still be watching this channel. So thanks again for liking, subscribing, commenting, doing all those things that you do. Uh, we'll be back soon with another throwback review. I really enjoyed my last one. I'm going to be mixing those into uh, my weekly mix. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.